Thanks for buying Radio Shack's outgoing messages. We're sure you'll enjoy using them as much as we enjoy doing them for you. The voices on this tape have been specially prepared to get you more messages. And now here's how to use them to your best advantage. First, using any standard cassette player, listen to the Radio Shack outgoing messages and then choose one. Notice that three seconds before each voice, there is a cueing chime. The chime indicates that you have three seconds before Radio Shack's outgoing message starts. Then, in a quiet place, record Radio Shack's outgoing message from the cassette player's speaker into the microphone of the answering machine. You can personalize your message in several ways, either by inserting your voice before or after the Radio Shack outgoing messages. This way, people will know that they have reached you and not a wrong number. You can experiment with the distance between the cassette player's speaker and the answering machine's microphone for best results. A distance of 3 to 4 inches with a medium volume is recommended. Remember, Radio Shack's outgoing messages will work with all types of answering machines, single cassette or loop, regardless of make or age of the machine. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Radio Shack's outgoing messages. I want to be called by you, just you, and nobody else would do. Oh, it was really elegant of you to call. This machine will take your message. Do you want to be beeped by me alone? But you, but you, but you, but you, but you, but beep. So nice of you to call. I'm five foot three, five foot two in my stocking feet. I like a great deal of fresh air, horseback riding English style. I like a moderate amount of alcohol, good parties, and I'm accustomed to having an answering machine take all my calls. Now that you know all about me, tell me all about you. Hello. The house you have called couldn't be more glorious. The playroom off the swimming pool has its own jacuzzi, sauna, microwave oven, food dehydrator, and this widow answering machine. The lady of the house jogs, plays tennis, and has no trouble getting a partner on her own racquetball court. So weave your name and number, and maybe you'll get invited over for a glass of Wawa. <laughs> Who is this on the telephone? Sorry, but no one is at home. Gosh, oh gee, but I have fun taking down messages one by one. I'm an orphan, but rich people are going to adopt me. They always do. So if you're rich, leave a message and the studio will call you back. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> it don't matter that I'm not here, because I got this here recording device to take my calls. Here you call again, sounding better than a body has a right to, and leave a message so I will really know that you have called again. And here I go. <laughs> Hello, this is Elizabeth Taylor, Hilton Wilding, Todd, Fisher, Burton, Burton, Warner, Taylor. And we're not here right now. So if you have a message for Nikki, Michael, Michael, Eddie, Richard, Richard, John, or me, just leave a message at the beep. <laughs> My goodness, another telephone call. But goodness had nothing to do with it. Mm, but when I am good, I'm very good. And when I'm bad, I'm better. And when I beep, I'm outrageous. Ooh. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, this is yours truly reporting from Hollywood. Don't look at this side of my face, thank you. It's so nice of you to call my dear, 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 dear friend whom I've never met. I've just run out of gossip, so I want smut, dirt, filth, names and numbers, starting with yours at the beep. Are you a good call or a bad call? Or are you calling at all? Come out, come out, whoever you are, and leave a brief message, whoever you are. And Toto too? And Toto too? Yes, hello. If you are calling to ask whether your friend is here or not, the answer is no. If you are calling just to hang up the phone without leaving a message as a form of objection, it is an extremely unoriginal one and hardly worth making. Kindly leave your message at the tone. 